I just had a coaching call with a senior software engineer who was feeling a bit low. He felt that he did not have enough skills to move to the next level in his career. He feared that he might fail even if he got promoted and in fact he was worried that he might get fired from his current role. In case you are a senior software professional who feel the same, continue listening. I'm going to share with you the exact points that I shared with my client who got a transformational shift in his mindset during the coaching call. Just because it's coming to you for free does not mean that it's not really valuable. People pay tens of thousands of rupees for this type of coaching and mentorship. Anyways, here goes. It's quite easy to feel like you are falling behind as you grow in your profession. It's usually called the imposter syndrome. You feel you are not progressing, but in reality you are. You just do not recognize and appreciate the progress you have made and are making currently. So, here is the truth. Your years of experience are a gold mine of untapped skills and insights. Let me take a few examples. First, let's talk about problem solving. You've tackled countless issues over the last few years from debugging complex code to managing system crashes. This has given you a unique ability to approach problems from multiple angles, a skill that is invaluable in any role. Next, let's consider your crisis management skills. Remember the time when the system crashed or you found a major bug in the code right before a major launch or a demo? Your ability to stay calm under pressure and coordinate a rapid response. That's a superpower many young professionals have not yet developed. Then here is your cross-functional collaboration experience. You work with multiple teams, even marketing and sales for getting the requirements and to the leadership teams you have talked to when you had to present the progress you are making in a non-technical language. This means that you can bridge the gap between the tech and the business side, a crucial skill for an emerging leader. Now here is the sad part. It's not enough to have these skills. You need to recognize them. You need to articulate them and apply them strategically. Now I'm going to suggest an exercise for you. List five major challenges you've overcome in your career. Across each one of them, identify the skill that you used. You likely find a pattern of valuable abilities you've been taking for granted. Now, how do you showcase these skills? In your next team meeting, probably you can volunteer to lead a new problem solving session. You can volunteer to take up a requirement that has been lying in the back burner for a long time. Take those leadership skills into your team meetings. Maybe during your next job interview, share specific stories that highlight your crisis management skills because a lot of companies are looking for people who can bring the team out of the mess they are in and you will be the right fit there. Now in your resume, you can emphasize the projects where you successfully bridged technical and business objectives. Again, bridging the gap is something that a very few people concentrate on. They have the skills, but they have not been able to articulate it. They have not recognized the skill inside them. Now, Remember, your skills, your experience is not outdated. It's a unique combination of skills that when recognized and applied can set you apart. You're not just keeping up. You have the potential to lead the way. So guys, it's time to unlock that hidden potential in you. Your best technical years are not behind you. They are just the beginning. Now, I help senior software professionals become the best version of themselves. Click on the Calendly link below to know more.